Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Zoetis. One thing reigns supreme in the U.S. beef and cattle industry, and that's the role of the consumer in providing the dollars that fuel other segments of the industry. USDA choice retail beef demand declined nearly 50% from 1980 to 1998. The demand loss was a result of a number of different factors. Declining quality grade, an unwillingness to embrace convenience, food safety concerns, and the war on fat were just a few of the culprits as demand eroded. Over the last 15 years, demand has been more range-bound, improving as much as 25% from the late 1990s to the early 2000s, then dropping within 4% of the all-time lows during the recent recession. Consumer beef demand is an important industry metric in determining price fluctuations. The challenges demand forecasts are always a relatively inexact science compared to supply projections. Cattlefax focuses on a number of factors in forecasting beef demand. Consumer incomes, retail beef featuring activity, restaurant traffic, competing protein prices, and the individual demand for specific cuts all determine Cattlefax's demand expectation. Incomes have been a considerable force in beef demand fluctuation since the recession. All else equal, a 1% change in consumer income results in a 1% change in beef demand. U.S. per capita real disposable income has been relatively fragile since the recession. Year-over-year -year income growth in 2013 has been less than 1% year-to-date, and the current U.S. economic situation makes it difficult to forecast any considerable income growth beyond the status quo. This is a significant concern for beef demand amid competing proteins that are offered at considerably lower values. Cattlefax believes the opportunity for beef demand growth in late 2013 still exists, but increases into 2014 may be more limited without additional consumer spending. Higher 2014 prices are expected for all weight classes of cattle, but weaker demand may limit the magnitude of these moves. Prices in the fed cattle market were mostly steady this week in the south, and steady to $1 per hundredweight higher in the north. Trade volumes were light to moderate. In the south, sales occurred at $119, while prices in the north were at $120 to $121 per hundredweight live, and mostly $193 to $195 dressed. Feeder cattle and calf values were unevenly steady, while slaughter cows ranged from steady to as much as $4 per hundredweight lower. Buyer demand is good for all weight classes, with heavier weight groups finding stronger support. The box beef cutout moved lower into midweek, but recovered some losses as the week progressed. Wholesale interest improved as the lower price levels were perceived as a good value for certain cuts, while corn prices moved lower into the week as crop conditions were favorable throughout pollination. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, become a member at cattlefacts.com.